Hello everyone, and next year, welcome to episode 126 of my Sinto Let's Play. So in the previous episode, my Red Power Core has finally reached Mining Quartz, and I'm now probably pro properly Mining Quartz again, so that's pretty nice. However, uh, since I've incorporated seed oil production into my system, I realized how much I don't have any seeds at all, pretty much. You can already see that in terms of pumpkin seeds, I can only craft them. And I'm completely out of normal seeds. And also, if I look at pumpkins, I'm running very, very low on them. And I think I'm pretty much out of melons already. So, pretty much my small farm uh, won't be able to keep up very long if I'm going to keep crafting alvaries. You can already see that pretty much the system is kind of dead. Like, it's trying to craft things that it simply cannot because I'm out of products. So... That's kind of bad, yeah, it's still trying to craft seed oil can using seeds, uh, melon and melon seeds, but probably should just get rid of it so it does, so it tries crafting it without the use of those products, although I think it kind of fails to realize that it doesn't have those products, so. Well, anyway, um, the, the probable solution for me would probably be simply create another farm. Well, obviously, I'm going to need to create another farm. The only question is how am I going to manage it? And supposedly, at first, I thought simply creating some more golems because they're simple to make. But the thing is, I want to make this a little bit interesting. And there is a mod that I pretty much never played with. And it received a very large overhaul upgrade since its first release, which I think is awesome. And the mod I'm talking about is Steve's Cards. And I think it's fit that I'm gonna. It's fitting that I'm gonna make my new farm using rail and uh, not railcraft using Steve's cards, and it has some re really nice capabilities which I simply haven't played before. Uh, originally, Steve cards used to have uh, like a very job-specific cards, like you made a card that would mine, or you made a card that would do something like this or that, and every card would have a specific job. But ever since Steve Cards 2, even though I'm talking about it like it was released last week, it was released a couple of months a couple of months ago, but I just never played with it at all, so that's kind of as far as I'm concerned that's new still. Um, basically VSW changed the mod to work in a way that you can simply you have a hole. You have multiple kinds of holes, there are even newer holes in the newer versions. And you can basically, you can see there is a modular capacity, so you can change, you can make every card do its own um, specific and unique jobs, uh, depending on the modular cost of that specific thing. So it can do, instead of being des designated to do only one thing, it can do multiple things, and you can basically control it as the player. And I think that's actually very awesome, it has some very... Uh, original thinking in my opinion. So anyway, after all that mumbling, I would like to start uh, and set up a farm uh, that will be managed by Steve's cards. Now, in terms of efficiency, I have no clue. I'm kind of building this uh, for the first time without any past experience, so there will probably be a little bit derping around. But it's something that I like to do is kind of try and build something off scratch for you guys. So also if you guys can try out the mods for yourselves, it will be a good designation whether or not this mod is intuitive or not. Like, is it something that's hard to understand or easy to understand? And I think it has some really good value. So pretty much I just, real, I just read the wiki a little bit, but overall kind of the first time for me interacting with it. So we'll see how that tar turns out. Okay, so from what I understand, the first thing I'm probably going to want to build is the cart assembler. So let's build that. Now I'm probably going to start integrating a lot of auto crafting recipes into my applied logistics because I can already see that it uses uh, something called the PCB, which I it's it uses it's used in a ton of different recipes. You can see 30 recipes pretty much, and all of those are different modules or different upgrades or different tools using uh, Steve's cards, so I'm probably going to need it. And you can see it keeps going. There are all those different minor uh, products and recipes that I'm going to need to integrate. So I'm going to do this as I move along. But let's just get started. So first, let's get some blank patterns. So it's always available to me if I need to do something. And let's see. So for the card assembler, I the card assembler itself, I don't think I'm going to need to autocraft, but simple PCBs I probably will be. 
So I'm going to need smooth stone is already uh, automatically resupplied into the system. So I'm going to need some iron, some PCBs, and some smooth stone. Okay, so let's get some uh, stone and iron. And for the PCBs, let's let's look up the recipe. It's going to require gold, redstone, and iron ingot. So gold, redstone, and iron I've got on me. And I s it seems like there are a couple of recipes here. Oh, no, it's basically the same recipe. Okay, so let's uh, paste the recipe into an auto-crafting pattern so it can be auto-crafted in the future. So this, 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 and in code. And add that. I have a missing recipe. I think that's the one for nether stars. So let's just place this in here. Or actually, let's place it. Let's place it here. So it makes sense. Can place something else there. I don't like having holes, but I like to have logically um, connected project, like everything in the same area. So okay, let's move this here, and this can go here. This can go here, and seems roughly fine. Okay, so um, simple PCB, let's craft a bunch, I think I'm going to use it quite a lot, so let's just craft 10 of those, it's a simple crafting recipe, just gold, redstone, and iron, so there is no problem there, and let's craft the actual cart assembler, just one. Okay, so when I place that down, it should give me kind of a user interface, okay, this is kind of crazy. Oh, it's also very large. I think we need to modify my UI scaling for this. Um, video settings. Uh, where is UI, GUI scale? Okay, small is too much. Let's go for large. Okay, this is better. Although everything else is relatively smaller. And I see a lot more items at the moment. Okay, this is kind of... Okay, I'm going to have to change it back. I'm not. It's It's fine, but I'm just not used to it. Yeah, I'm going to change it back. Okay, so, um, cart assembler. So basically, you place a cart here, and you can see you can have many different kinds of everything. So you have uh, some sort of an engine, and there are different kinds of engines, some sort of a tool, attachments, storage, and add-ons. You can see, and you can basically modularly change every cart the way you want it to be. So let's start with the actual cart, or hold, the way it's called. There is a wooden hole, standard hole, and a reinforced hole. There is also a kind of a mechanical pig hole. It looks like a pig. I'm not sure what that's all about, but in terms of value, it's relatively, yeah, it's kind of not as good as the other holes. And also in the newer versions, there are even better holes than what's available here. Uh, let's, let's go for, let's go for the reinforced hole. Let's go, uh, let's go crazy right off the bat. So for a reinforced hole, I'm going to need, let's see, reinforced metal. And for reinforced metal, I'm going to need... Okay, I'm going to need to add some smelting recipes and some more crafting recipes, it seems. Um, I'm going to need hardened mesh and refined hardener. For refined... For hardened mesh, I'm going to need iron bars, which I already have. And for refined hardener, I'm going to need this and this. Okay, so let's start using... I'm going to start using diamond and obsidian. I think this is pretty much the first time using obsidian properly instead... Uh, uh, well, I, I did use them before for ender chests, but not as much. Okay, so let's add some more recipes. So when I take this recipe, I get the raw hardener. So let's uh, introduce this. And with the raw hardener, uh, what can I do? Basically, I can do, I think, I, yeah, I can cook it. I can either cook it, well, that's exactly the same. Okay, so let's uh, get some of that hardener. And <clears throat> let's cook one, and then also add the recipe which says I can cook it. So let's get that thing out of here, and introduce a smelting recipe. So if you give me one of those, I'll give you back one of those, and encode, and drop that into the ME interface. 
And let's get some of those. So dump those back in here and get some hardeners. Let's get nine so it uses all the raw hardeners that I just got. Okay, so with those nine, I'm gonna need to create hardened mesh. So using iron bars and four of those, let's get a bunch of iron bars. So let's paste the you the smaller UI is really annoying. I won't lie. Well I'm just I'm just not used to it, but maybe if I got used to it it will be fine, but just like this it's kind of annoying. Okay. Um you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna change it back until I can actually until I'm gonna actually interface with the thingy. Why am I on forty nine percent brightness and not one hundred percent? I don't know. Okay, um so just created the hardened mesh recipe so let's add that as well and let's get some of those let's get 10 hardened mesh and I'm gonna create them right of right from scratch and not uh, place this in here because I'm gonna need this still on me okay let's get those four and Pretty much okay. Let's paste the recipe, which creates which creates the stabilized metal. There is some really like those recipes are usually just there for balance because it's supposed to be kind of pricey, so it requires a lot of different iron and different things to create it. But it's kind of a really long process. Okay, so I got the the stabilized metal. So let's get some of those sta that stabilized metal. Okay, so that's that, and with stabilized metal, I think I can. I just need to smelt it. Yep, smelting one gives me this one reinforced thingy. So let's just cook one and introduce the recipe as well. Again, another smelting recipe. So this gives you this, and add that to the ME interface. She's about to run out of space. Okay, so anything else I need to craft? Okay, the actual reinforced wheels, well, they are relatively simple to craft. Just one in the middle, four of those, and this. Okay, so let's craft the actual thing. Can dump most of these things back inside. Okay, so I'm gonna need to craft it five reinforced metal so let's take four from here begin and I'm gonna need two of those wheels two wheels begin okay so got my hole the base of basically the cart itself and now when I place it in here you can already see it has some very nice interface. I can visually see how the cart will look. I guess the more the more I add things in here, the the way it changes. Overall, I think I can use it in automatic uh, GUI. Yeah, it's kind of kind of goes out of the edges, but overall it's relatively fine. So I don't have to change anything. Okay, engines. Let's see if I type an engine. Does it work that way? Um, yeah, it can actually it actually works. It, it collects everything which is an engine, but I'm looking for those engines right there. So there is the coal engine, there is the solar engine, which is what I'm interested in. Uh, there is the tiny coal engine, the basic solar engine, the compact solar engine, and the creative engine. Well, that's kind of irrelevant. But I want to go for... I want to have both coal and solar. I want to be able to kind of change, change them in between them. And you can see I have room basically for five engines but I'm only going to use two. So let's create the most advanced two engines. So let's go for... Um, there is the compact... There is this normal solar engine and there is the compact solar engine. This one costs 32 modular points and this one costs 20. Um, in terms of price, I don't I actually... 
Well, this one requires two advanced PCBs, I would assume. Yeah, okay. So the compact solar is definitely more advanced. Let's go for maximum ad uh, advancement right off the bat. So this one is going to need pistons, iron, redstone, and those two things which I don't exactly have yet. So let's have uh, redstone, just collected some glass as well. Uh, let's have those and a piston on me. It's going to get crafted. Uh, let's take a look what I'm going to need. So for the advanced PCB, well that's relatively easy, just two, two PCBs with some more, some iron and some redstone. So that's nothing to worry about. Let's get those PCBs out again and create the recipe. So redstone, iron, iron and some PCBs and create the recipe. Nothing too complicated. And for the actual advanced solar panel, I'm going to get a simple PCB, some iron and that new thing, a solar panel, which is created using glowstone, redstone and iron. So nothing too complicated, however glowstone is kind of a, a pricey product for me. I actually started considering using uh, Xenos Requiliari to create glowstone. I'm still considering it because in terms of balance it's still kind of unfair. Like one redstone for one glowstone is simply unfair. Getting glowstone is so much harder to get. So I'm still not doing it, but I am considering doing it, I won't lie. Okay, so for the advanced solar panel again, let's create a solar panel recipe. So one iron, two glowstone, and one redstone. Kind of pricey because I don't have so much glowstone available to me. But there is nothing much I can do about it. Let's get one of those solar panels available. Craft one, simple craft. And craft the actual advanced solar panel. So PCB in the middle, solar panels, and some iron in the sides which gives me the advanced solar panel. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I don't have enough glowstone to create enough for the actual engine. So I'm gonna go for a quick uh, off-screen bake for the nether and mine some manually, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got uh, some nice amount of glowstone, almost four stacks, not bad. Uh, let's craft the actual thing now. So again, to craft the engine, I'm gonna need two advanced PCBs and two advanced solar panels. So, solar panels, give me please two advanced ones. Okay, and for the PCBs, again, please give me two advanced ones. Okay, so then I'm gonna need some pistons and a redstone, some redstone. Right? Right. So let's craft the thing. Compact solar panel, thank you. And now I can simply place it in one of the engine slots. I think you can actually, yeah, I can visually see this. I don't think there is a difference between, yeah, there is no difference whatsoever where I place it. But this is the first engine, so my cart eventually will have at least this engine available. Okay, so let's also build the second, the coal engine. Uh, do I want to go, there is the compact, there is a tiny coal engine, and there is the coal engine. Let's go for the coal engine. It's like very easy, apparently, just a furnace, some iron ingots, and a piston. Do I happen to have some furnaces available here? I guess not. Well, it's easy to craft. So, just one furnace. And by the way, the engines I'm not automating the craft of, because, again, uh, the engine is something that you simply craft just one time, and you don't need it anymore after that, so... Yeah. Okay, I don't think I'm visually going to see... Oh, okay. Nice. You can actually okay visually see the fact that you can also have uh, the coal engine. Okay, so this is this. Okay, now for a tool. Again, this is going to be a farming cart. So, for a tool, you can see that there are a couple of tools here. There is a drilling tool, basically break blocks. Uh, there is this tool, which has a very higher modular cost. I think this one is kind of better than diamond. There is the farmer tool, which is what I'm looking for, but also there is the woodcutter, uh, some more drills, and that's pretty much it, apparently. What's the gravity tool? I don't know. Okay, so I'm looking for the farmer. So, uh, relatively easy to make, just PCBs, gold, and diamond. So let's get some PCBs, actually just the one that I need. Let's get some gold, and let's get some diamonds and craft the farming tool 
just one and place it here and you can see again everything has you can visualize everything this is why I like this uh, kind of it's kind of looking awesome okay attachments now this is something kind of I'm not, I'm not familiar with what can I attach to my thing there is a torch placer which I'm not actually gonna need because the farm is gonna be stationary and it's gonna be welded anyway there is a railer I guess that's a rail placement uh, there is a large railer okay there is a bridge builder a truck remover some hydrator this is interesting maybe I'm gonna need the hydrator for the farm I don't know but I'm gonna check that out there is the fertilizer pretty much gonna need this uh, a seat if I want to sit in the cart uh, a control system shooter I guess that's is for farming monsters advanced shooter cleaning machine I guess no clue what that is uh, a dynamite carrier a node sequencer and a cage and a firework display Okay, I'm going to do some research research on those, some of those things. What am I needing and what do I not need? So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so from what I understand, pretty much the uh, mod the models that I'm that, sorry the attachments that I'm going to be interested in are the hydrator, the fertilizer, and the cleaning machine. The rest are they can be interesting, of course. If the farmer can shoot fireworks while farming, it will be great, and I don't think you can complain about that. But it's kind of unnecessary. Uh, just one thing before I continue, I'd like to remove some of those things and actually move the cart assembler to the center of the room. And this, there is a reason why I'm doing this. You're going to understand why once I finish assembling the cart. You can already see that there is a time to assemble the cart and the more thing I add, the longer the, it takes. So right now, if I, if I start assembling, for example, the cart as is right now, it will take 21 minutes. So there is something I'm going to do right before assembling it and you will understand why. Okay, so what I'm gonna need is the hydrator. Again, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go for the large hydrator. I'm gonna need a fertilizer and a cleaning machine. So let's start with the hydrator. It's gonna need some iron and some large water container, which that's gonna require a lot of glass and a small water container, which, which is that gonna require some buckets, glass and glass panes. Okay, so let's get some glass. Let's also get some glass panes and start crafting. I'm considering which which recipes do I actually want to add as automatic recipes and I think I'm actually not gonna add any of them. I'm gonna manually craft everything here because it's not that necessary. So let's craft some buckets. I'm gonna need, I think we need four. No, let's, I think we need eight. Okay, so for one large hydrator, I'm going to need two of those, which will require two of those, so I'm going to need four of those. Yeah, exactly eight buckets. So this, and I got one large hydrator. So let's add that as an attachment. Again, you can start visual. Everything is visualized in Steve's cards. This is why it's awesome. There are some, uh, you can say there are some problems, like obviously right now it's blocking the solar uh, engine but you know oh wait it actually tells me that there is a problem this is uh, interesting I didn't uh, think that will be happening uh, what does it say compact solar engine and large hydrator will clash at the following side right is there a way around it like can I place my large hydrator some someplace else okay let's try to uncraft it so and create the normal hydrator instead of the large one maybe that will be any different I'm going to have some experience to do this now uh, why am I not collecting experience no oh, this was turned off this is why I'm not collecting any experience. Uh, well, let, let's not just let's not craft it. Just create it from scratch. So we can store this in here and create it again. So let's create uh, four buckets and then create this and then create this. I hope this will not have a problem as well. 
It might. Yep, it also has a problem. Okay, so there is no way around it. Okay, so I'm going to find a solution for this. But for the time being, I cannot use an hydrator. Or I cannot use a solar engine, but I prefer using a solar engine. Although I might not have to. You know what? I have a lot of coal. Let's not use the solar engine. Okay, let's use the hydrator and not the solar engine. So I'm going to use a coal engine for my farm. So let's get that back in here and store the solar engine. Okay, solar engine out of the question at the moment. Unless I'm going to have another problem and then I'm going to see what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is the first attachment. The second one will be the fertilizer. So I'm going to need some glass bottles, some bone meal, and some leather, and some PCB. So, whoops. Okay, let's grab the leather from here. And some PCB. PCB and just some bones. I have a ton of bones. A ton of bones. Okay, just one and make it into some bone meal. Let's have some more iron on me. Okay, and create the fertilizer. Oh wait, I'm still going to need two bottles. Let's steal from the from Mistcraft. I should have nope, I don't have. Let's craft some new bottles then. Okay. And fertilizer. Create. Let's hope this won't have any problems. Okay, it seems fine. I don't actually visually see this. Um, am I missing something? Nope. Well, I don't see this, but it's here. Okay, so the fertilizer is done. And finally, let's collect, let's place the cleaning machine. Now, cleaning machine is again something that's possibly not necessary, but I'd like to have it as integral part of the card because otherwise I'm going to find a different system to collect all the loot. Uh, that's gonna break from the farm because I think just like this the farm doesn't collect anything it simply farm stuff when it's ready It probably replants everything, but it's not gonna Do any of that any collection so going to the cleaning core Okay, I'm gonna first need the cleaning tube. So cleaning tube is some orange dye and iron So let's uh, do I have orange dye? orange dye is yellow and red I have some of it. I think I have a lot of flowers, a lot of the orange flowers. I can, yeah, I can collect some of those orange flowers. It's a good thing my bees are making so many flowers. And let's break the yellow flowers as well. Why is things not updating? Or updating just so slowly? Okay, I'm gonna collect some flowers here and make some dyes. Okay, so I've got a ton of flowers. They should be enough. Not going to need that much uh, dyes, but we'll see. Okay, so t for the cleaning machine, I'm going to need six of those tubes. And again, an extra four for this block. And I don't think, yeah, nothing else. So I'm going to need ten of those cleaning tubes, meaning uh, five times this. So 30 orange dyes. Yeah, I'm going to craft a little bit more orange dyes. Uh, okay, this is fine. So with the iron, I need to create the crafting recipe five times, and exactly that's what I have dies for. Okay, and for the cleaning core, I'm going to need some iron and some cleaning fan, which is redstone and iron bars. Now I just stored the bars, let's take them out and create those things. So two of those cleaning fans and this thing and this thing cleaning core can i place that without any problem yep okay so, oh so it's kind of on the internal part of the thing i guess maybe so is the fertilizer mm, i don't know okay so i also have a cleaning core and in terms of attachments i think i'm done yep okay now for storage for storage, I'm going to need basically just a chest, and I'm also going to need what are extracting chests. I'm I'm going to need chests, and oh, you can place it whenever you go, wherever you want. So you can place it 
on the top, you can place it on the front, you can place it on the internal, and you can place it on the side. If I'm gonna go for collection, I think I'm gonna start. I think I'm using too many modules for for what I'm doing here. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. Uh, I'm considering whether I need the hydrator or not. You know what? Let's not use the hydrator. Uh, I don't know. Okay, let's keep the hydrator. Okay, for storage, let's see. Uh, the sides are taken, the back is taken, the top isn't really taken, and <coughs> the front is also seem to be taken. So let's go for uh, top. So for top chest, I'm gonna need huge chest pane and some new things here. Oh, you actually, you visually create a chest. So six sides, whatever that is, and a chest lock. Okay, huge chest pane. Well, I'm gonna need a lot of chest panes. So, two logs on the sides, and... Oh, but it gives me 32 of those. And wood in the center. Okay, so let's get some logs. And let's get some of this, and create this thingy. So let's create it... Uh, didn't I just collect some wood? I guess not. Okay, so for the top chest, I'm gonna need six of those. Well, I don't know. Let's just... Let's just... Oh, uh, come on. What's going on? Did really need to do this? Okay, let's create it just twice and see if that's enough or not. So I'm gonna need six of those. Which leaves me... Yeah, I just have enough, I think. Yeah, I have enough. And for the chest lock, it's just smooth stone and iron. Of course, it creates eight, because why would you need just one? You always need eight, so it uh, takes some excess storage area. And I can get rid of the dice as well. So this gives me this, and this gives me the top chest. Nice. So let's place that. Storage. Yep, nothing has any problems, and now I have a top chest. Okay, so just noticed that the episode length has reached uh, a good point. Now, I am doing this relatively slow because, again, for me it's the first time. I guess for some of you guys it's also the first time. So I'd rather not do anything too stupid and make mistakes and then pay for it later. So this one I'm taking things relatively slow. Uh, so yeah, it's going to have to wait. In the next episode I'm going to complete everything related to the addons and also set up the actual farm and everything that goes along with it. Okay, so as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.